Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a good day. Today I'm going to be doing some maintenance on my wife's 2010 Prius. We're gonna do an oil change. Go ahead and clean out and dump the oil catch can on it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. To get things prepped, I got the oil filter cap off. I'm gonna go ahead and get the oil draining and I can check some other things while that's draining. Got a new oil filter. I personally like to use Toyota OEM filters. <clears throat> filter cap to get the old filter off. Got a new drain plug gasket. And this has an undercover like most cars nowadays, but unfortunately the cover doesn't uh, pop out of the way. It just bends and folds on this early model. So I actually do this so you can see the couple of strap so I just I've already taken out the the uh, clips for it and I just bend it back and I just clip it right into here and it just ends up pulling back that flap so it's out of my way so if you've never done an oil change on one of these here's the oil filter and the drain plug drain plugs out it's just dripping now but the oil filter is one of the canister type filters and I will show you what I really like. I really like this oil filter cap that I've got to take this off. Switch hands here. And because it fits both, as you can see from there, it fits both the canister and the standard metal ones that my other cars take. So it's really nice. It's a little more expensive and it's worth every penny. Super well built and absolutely love it. Definitely recommend it and I will attach a, a link to it in the description. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this and then we'll change out the filter. Here we have the old filter, and then once you've taken off the canister, this just pops out and pulls straight out. And then we open up our new one here. So it includes a new gasket and your new filter. So. Filter doesn't actually look too bad at all. I always kind of inspect it and see if I see anything unusual in the pleats. But this looks actually very good. I am going to sample, I, I took a sample of the oil and I am going to send it in and have it uh, analyzed on this trip. Car's got 155,200 miles on it now. So, go ahead and pop this out. Our new O ring. The, the old O ring is right here. I'll just pop that off. Take our new one. And just roll it down into, it's the wider groove right below the threads. And then with my hands that are kind of oily because this is oily, I will go ahead and just spread some of that over the threads or I mean over the, the uh, O-ring. So that way when it seats up, it's not dry and doesn't bind or anything like that. So take the new filter, put it on there, and you're ready to go. Now the one drawback to this type of filter, the canister, is it's harder to preload any oil into it because as soon as you, this is, a, this is mounted laterally, so as soon as you, 
turn it this way, it's just going to pour right out. As you can see, just a little bit of oil that's still in there is already doing. So I'm actually going to pour that out. So that, that's a downside to these versus the metal can the metal uh, spin on filters. So, but we'll go ahead and drop under there, spin that back on, and we'll be ready to put the new uh, gasket on for the drain plug and ready for new oil. One thing I want to mention real quick too, with your drain plug gasket, make sure you get the old one off before you put a new one on. If you stack them, you will go, um, chances are you will get an oil leak from there. So don't stack them. Make sure you take the old one off. These are super, super cheap. I always have extras and I, oh yeah, see. And there was actually one, <laughs> I didn't even look. There was actually one in the, oil filter box uh, at Toyota. When I buy them from Toyota, they include one, but not all dealers do. Many dealers will charge you for these. Um, and if the dealer charges you, you might as well order some from Amazon because they're cheaper. So, but if your dealer throws them in, hey, awesome. So I will go ahead and put these on now. One thing I want to point out, when you're tightening the canister back up, do not over tighten this. I do use this to put it back on because it's got more resistance as it's screwing in, but it's the gasket that does the work. So once it seats, and you'll feel it, once it seats, don't keep cranking on it. That's good enough. Then you can go ahead and take that off and that part is set to go so as you can see I made sure that the old gasket was off I took a screwdriver and popped it off they'll usually stick to that and I'll go ahead and screw the new one on there we go so drain bolts back in and once again on that it's the same thing as the oil filter do not over tighten can't stress that enough, just snug it up. Here's a shot of that flap I was telling you about. It goes up like that. So you can see how it's just hinged right here. I wish they had made it where it went up under here where this whole thing can be taken out. But it sits like that. There's three plastic clips like that right there that hold it on. So I'll snap those in and we'll be done underneath. So I got the oil refilled, caps back on. Here's my sample of oil to send into Blackstone. I've never sent a sample in <clears throat> on the Prius, so at 155,000 miles, I figured, eh, let's send one in just to make sure there's no surprises. I don't expect there to be because <clears throat> when I look at the coolant, the coolant level doesn't change. Um, and the oil has looked good coming out and I do change it every 5,000 miles and um, I'm good about keeping the EGR cooler and EGR valve and intake and all that stuff cleaned out so which I need to do I have the uh, I have the new clean parts right over there so ready to go back on so and swap them out so the oil change is done good for another 5,000 miles and away we go so for any of you guys that have not <clears throat> done an oil change on a 10th gen or a third gen Prius from 2010 to 2015. Hope that helps. Uh, I know a lot of people are buying used Priuses and they're new to them and they don't know a lot of this stuff. So try to keep everybody up and current on what they should be doing for maintenance to keep the car running, running really good. So anyway, 
Thanks for joining me. Please hit the like, subscribe button. I appreciate it. It really does help me. And I will go ahead and link uh, any of the products and stuff that I used in the description below the video. So thank you much, guys. Feel free to reach out with any comments or questions. After changing the oil every time, I go ahead and I check and empty the oil catch can. And how I mounted it on this car is I just used a zip tie and I put this little piece of <clears throat> just a little L bracket here I got at the hardware store. And this just sits right on top of it and I strap it with that and it's been working great. So let's go ahead and check this out. Years and years ago, there were some, oh, yeah, oh, icky. There were some people that um, were saying that this made a huge difference on the Prius. So now I have some. Uh, I have some steel wool in there to help filter it, but uh, man, yeah, it's got a lot of crap in there, a lot of watery oil, and the beauty of this is that it's not being rerouted to the intake manifold, and this is the kind of stuff that gets in there and gets heated and dries and sticks to the, to the intake and just oils it up, so I'll go ahead and empty this and clean it out, and we'll stick it back on. So I emptied this out, cleaned it out. I always spray out the steel wool and uh, just get as much gunk out of there as I can. Doesn't really matter too much, but now I'll go ahead and screw this back on. go set that down there get a new zip tie here there we go all done so as you can see it just literally takes a few minutes to to go ahead and empty that out and stuff so it's ready to go. Till next time, we'll see you down the road.